This is Tom Blair with Inside Colorado Wrestling doing another episode of Boundary to Boundary Colorado High School Wrestling. Our guest today is head coach from Mountain Range, Todd Sandman. How you doing, Todd? Doing well, how about you? Uh, we're over here at the uh, SmackDown uh, tournament. Um, how's it going so far? There? It's going well. I like this format because you get uh, five dual meets in. And uh, after the, the dual meets are over, the top two kids out of each pool meet in a mini tournament. So, uh, you know, kids get a lot of uh, matches in a, in a short amount of time. So it's a, a real nice format. Okay. How's your team doing so far? We're doing pretty well. We had a, we had a couple of kids that, uh, due to injury, missed. Uh, had a kid with a concussion. So we were scrapping in there pretty well. Okay. Um, we're letting the wrestling community around the state uh, know the head coaches from each high school. Um, give us a little background on yourself, a little wrestling background and coaching background. Okay. Um, started wrestling in uh, Rock Springs, Wyoming when I was uh, I think in third grade. Wrestled all the way through uh, high school uh, and college. Wrestled uh, for Doug Moses at the University of Southern Colorado. They call it CSU Pueblo now. Um, and uh, national qualifier there. And I've been now coaching. This is my 28th year of teaching and coaching in high school, um, and I'm still enjoying it. Okay. How long have you been coaching at uh, Mountain Range? I've been at Mountain Range since it opened, so this is the 14th year. Mountain Range has, you know, uh, been in existence, so I've been the head coach since it opened. Okay. Um, how's the season going? Because we're in January now, so we're about a third done or some say about half done through the season. Uh, how's the season been going? It's going well, you know, we, uh, um, you know, the weight descent program, I think we're going through the same thing with a lot of other teams. You know, I think finally now uh, with the January growth allowance, we'll, we'll have the kids where they, they need to be and, and uh, you know, progressing through January and trying to get them to peak here in February for regionals and state. Okay. Uh, so the season, how has the first half of the season gone? It's gone well. You know, we've, we've been to uh, it's our second dual meet tournament, been to uh, uh, a couple bracket tournaments. So you know, kids are starting to, to rack up some matches and, and you know, we use those to analyze what they need to improve upon. And, and uh, you know, I think that we do have a, the ability to get some guys on the podium at the state tournament at the end of February. What does your coaching staff look like? A very good one. Um, Besides myself, I have Jeff Harrington. Um, Jeff Harrington, great assistant coach, probably one of the best in the state. Uh, he also wrestled at the University of Southern Colorado. Uh, he's he, uh, coached at Legacy before Mountain Range, but he's been with me at Mountain Range for, man, it's gotta be close to 10 years now. Um, I have an assistant coach named Casey Brickman. Uh, Casey wrestled for Legacy High School back in the day, and he's been with me for, I'd say about 12 years. Uh, I have one of my former um, state finalists and state champions, Corey Mitzi. Uh, he's uh, assisting me this year, as well as uh, a former Thornton wrestler named Ryan Stewart. So I think we have a very good uh, coaching staff. We have some veteran coaches and some young ones, so it's a good mix. It sounds like uh, they've been there almost as long as you have, so, you know, um, so it's been a good mix. Yeah, for sure. Okay. What does your team look like, uh, number-wise? Um, this year we're down a little bit. I think we, you know, at the high point we had like 34 uh, wrestlers. I think in the past we'd have 50. Um, one thing I, or 50 plus, one thing I think it attributes to that is uh, our district cut middle school sports several years ago, and that's kind of hurt the numbers in wrestling. Um, but the, you know, we're, we're holding strong. We probably still have 30 uh, kids in the room um, every day. So we haven't lost many of them, so that's a positive thing. Okay. What are your uh, expectations uh, for your kids and your, and your coaching staff for the season? 
like I said, you know, um, I really believe that uh, we have a you know, handful of kids that, that will qualify for state. Um, and I also believe that those guys have a, a good shot at placing at the state tournament. We have uh, you know, a few state placed, or excuse me, state qualifiers returning um, you know, with that experience. You know, oftentimes for kids it takes them uh, you know, a time down at the Pepsi Center to get that experience and, and the next year you know, hopefully they can play. So hoping to get several guys on the podium in, yeah. in February. Usually a lot of times the first guys going down there, they get uh, the old bright light exactly. effects. A little starstruck. And that happens to really good kids too. You know, I had a, uh, a former um, athlete uh, who was a two-time uh, state finalist. His first time down there as a, as a sophomore uh, didn't place, you know, even though he probably should have placed. Uh, it happens to the best of them at times. Yeah. Well, good luck in your season. Uh, good luck to today at the uh, Koufax Smackdown. Um, this is Tom Blair with Inside Colorado Wrestling. Thank you.